By the end of this video, we want to write all of these expressions in a different way. We want to write them as products. The first expression starts with two terms. We want to change that to one term, to just a product. How we do that is we think about the greatest common factor of both of these terms. What number or expression can divide into both of those evenly? We know we have a 2 for sure that can go into both, and that's it. What we do then is we write the 2 on the outside of the bracket, and then the inside we're going to have two terms. Now how we determine these ones is we think in our head 2x divided by 2. That gives us x. The term is x. 2 times x is 2x. Or what you can think in your head is 2 times what is 6? Well, that would be 3. Or 6 divided by the greatest common factor is the 3. We distribute to check our answer. 2 times x is 2x. And 2 times plus 3 is a plus 6. We know we got it right. Here we have two terms. And the greatest common factor would be a negative 2. Write the greatest common factor on the outside and start thinking about what the inside would look like. We know we're going to have two terms. Negative 2 times what is negative 2x? That would be an x. We write negative 2x divided by the greatest common factor, and that's how we get that term, x. Now negative 2 times what is a 6, and that would be a negative 3. 6 divided by negative 2 is a negative 3. Check your work. Negative 2 times x is negative 2x. Negative 2 times negative 3 is positive 6. We got it right. Next one, two terms. Greatest common factor would be a 3, and x is common, and a y is common. 3xy is the greatest common factor, and inside the brackets we know we're going to need two terms. 3xy times what is 3x squared y? We need an x. Or think in your head 3x squared y divided by 3xy. Cross off, cross off, x is left on top, that's how we get x. And 3xy times what is 12xy? That would be a plus 4 only. Think in your head 12xy divided by 3xy is going to give you 4. And that's how you get it. Double check your work. 3xy times x will give 3x squared y, and 3xy times 4 will give 12xy. You know you did it right. Next one, we have two terms, and the greatest common factors a little bit more complicated. We need to make sure we take out the negative, or have the negative 3 here. And then we look at the x's, x squared versus x to the 5. The x squared is common. And then y cubed and y squared, it's the y squared. Notice we'll take the lowest exponent. We write the greatest common factor on the outside. Start the bracket. And we know we have two terms inside. Now from here, negative 3x squared y squared times what will give that term. We're just missing a y. And then negative 3x squared y squared times what will give this amount. And we know we need a negative because negative times negative has to be a positive. We need a 4. We need an x cubed. And that's it. Now, how did you get those two terms? You could, if you wanted to, write on the side that 
Those cancel off and this leaves you Y and there's the Y and also Twelve divided by negative three is negative four. X to the fifth divided by X squared, remember you're subtracting exponents, gives you X cubed. The Y squareds cancel. And there it is. Negative four X cubed goes right here. Make sure to check your work. Multiply negative three X squared Y squared times Y to get negative three X squared Y cubed and negative 3 times negative 4 gives you 12. x squared times x cubed gives you x to the fifth, and then y squared times 1 is y squared. You got it right. And finally, the challenge. One, two, three, four terms. We know we're going to have a greatest common factor times four terms. Okay, so look at the coefficients first and I'm thinking it's going to be a four. Next look at the x's and go for the lowest exponent and that's an x to the one and then the y's would just be a y. 4xy on the outside. Now think to yourself, 4xy times what? will give you the first term. You need a four, you need an x squared, and that's it. Double check, four times four is 16, x times x squared is x cubed, and y is right there. Next one, four times what is negative 12? Negative three, and we have an x already. We have one y, we need a y squared. Negative 12 and x y cubed, all right, next one, we need a plus nine because four times nine is 36. And then X times what is X squared? We need an X. Y times what is Y squared? We need a, another Y. And last term, four XY times what? will give you the negative four XY. It's going to be a negative one. Now, if you want to be thinking in your head, the first one, 16x cubed y divided by 4xy, that gives you 4x squared, because those cancel, and these exponents you subtract, and there it is. Next one, you're going to take the negative 12xy cubed and divide it by the greatest common factor, and that one gives you negative 3 y squared. And there it is. Next one is 36x squared y squared divided by 4xy. We have a 9 and we have x and y. 9xy negative 4xy divided by 4xy gives you negative 1 which we have. As a final check, a triple check, you can do another distribute. Four times four is 16. X times X squared is X cubed. Y times one is Y. That one's right. Four times negative three is negative 12. X times one is X and Y times Y squared is Y cubed. Correct. Four times nine is 36 x times x is x squared, y times y is y squared, check. And then 4xy times negative 1 gives you the negative 4xy. Well done.